time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get the series review started. series up on Netflix that dropped Friday and I have been obsessed with it all weekend. It's called Away. It stars Hilary Swank, which, you know, she's she's an Oscar winning actress. She's amazing. So she has the lead role and she plays this astronaut that is going to Mars. She's with this whole crew that's that's going to be the first people up on Mars, stepping on Mars, going on this mission that's going to be three years away, away from society. And they don't know. It's a 50-50 chance if they make it back to Earth. So it's a 50-50 chance. And this whole crew is going on this journey, and they're leaving their family, may never come back. So this is kind of about a story of all this crew going to Mars, but also the people they leave behind on Earth that's dealing with the repercussions of having family members and loved ones up in space going to Mars and not knowing if they're coming back. Now let me begin by saying I love me some space. I love me some astronauts and space movie. I wanted to be an astronaut. Back when I was young, I went to space camp. I went to the camp when there was like a little for teens and preteens and all that to train to go in space. So these movies are right up my alley. I'm obsessed with it. So as someone who loves space and all the astronaut movies and everything, I thought that aspect of this movie was amazing. The shots of space, just them living up in space and, and things they're dealing with. I mean, there's been, there was some parts they're dealing with like atrophy and one of the guys up in space, his whole like heel comes off or the it peels off the skin just cut out deal with some of the crisis that may come on. They, could, they, they have like crisis with water systems and all this other stuff. So just that whole aspect of it reminded me kind of Apollo 13. You know, when everything on Apollo 13 went wrong and they had to fix it. But the real part I feel like everybody will love about is the relationships. The relationships of the astronauts and the, their family or loved ones they leave at home. Like Hilary Swank, she has a husband who's also an astronaut and a daughter. Relationship and just the problems they go through. You you see it all. You see the problems they go through as a married couple and her in space and, and may never her may never be able to come back. But also they have a teenage daughter who's going through all the teenage stuff, you know, boys and just all those problems. And, you know, they're having to deal with it, the husband at home trying to take deal with it, but also her being out in space and so far away from home. I mean, she's probably the furthest away from home than anybody ever been from their daughter or teenager. So her dealing with that out in space. So a daughter who has this famous mom, you know, going to Mars, you know, having living this teenage life, but also deep down inside, not knowing if the mom's coming back, but the whole world watch. This series doesn't just focus on that relationship. You know, it focuses on all the crew members. They have a crew member, you know, Ram, Ram, Ram right? Played by Ray Panthaki. <laughs> I'm so bad at work. But he's like, they talk about, you know, his backstory, you get through that backstory of him and how he doesn't get close to people and he lost his brother and and the reasons why he doesn't get close to people. They have one of my favorite characters, Misha, and this is this Russian played by Mark Ivaner, Ivaner, right? And he, you know, is this old Russian and, and it goes on his backstory of, you know, him not you know, having a relationship with his daughter and, you know, trying to have a relationship now with his grandkids. And even up in space, he makes these puppets and does, does a whole little puppet show at uh, Christmas for the grandkids. So, I mean, I'm telling you the backstories and just getting to know the relationships of all the crew members was so intriguing and I found it so interesting. And that's one of the things that really kept you into the show. One thing about this show is it's long. It's a long show. It's not just a movie about space, like two, two and a half hours. This is a series. It has 10 episodes and each episode is 45 minutes. So it's going to take you some time to get through this. It is going to take you and then it's long and dragged out because it's the whole mission of going to Mars. And then ain't just a round trip. Like this first episode is just their journey to Mars, which leads you to think, you know, are they going to survive? Is there going to be a season? I said it was beautifully shot. I mean, I can't get enough, you know, imageries of space and Mars and all that kind of stuff. Being just a lover of that, 
you know, so that part to me was beautifully shot. I love the dynamics of the relationship of the crew in space. I love the dynamics of, you know, the, the whole family at home, loved one at home kind of storylines and everything. I love that about it. One problem I did have is the length. You know, that's a long, that's a lot. 10 episodes, you know, 45 minutes, that's a lot of watch time. And it, there was parts where I started to lose a little interest, but to, but it picked back right, right back up for me. It picked right back up right as soon as I started to lose interest, it started getting good again. But I feel like they could have cut it somewhere. As far as the acting, like I said, Hilary Swank is an Oscar winner. She's an Oscar winning actress and all that. I found her performance in this okay. It wasn't no stellar Oscar winning performance for me. I like her as an actress, but I just felt her performance was okay. I really didn't get that close to her character. You know, as far as the character development and everything, I felt like I was a lot closer to the other characters up in space, that I felt more of a connection, that they did a real stellar job in their character and their character development. I even felt a more connection to the husband she left at home. I don't know if that's the way, you know, it was written. But I'm going to tell you, overall, I enjoyed it. I would give it a three and a half out of five. I mean, I mean, that's still fresh on the Rotten Tomatoes, but it wasn't something that I was just like, you have to watch. As a mom, as a mom who, you know, has kids and, and I've kind of put myself into that situation, I had some emotions. I'm going to tell you, almost every episode I was teared up. I was like, my husband was looking at me like, what's wrong? I'm like, this is just so, and then he didn't tear up. But for me, you know, putting myself in that situation, I did. And I, the tears came. With almost every episode, the tears came for me. So it's one of those heartfelt, emotional series, which you, you expect. They're going to space and leaving, you know, they're going to Mars, may never, 50-50 chance of coming back. And they're leaving loved ones, well, loved ones at home. And you see that whole relationship develop through the time. So, of course, the tears are going to come. But I definitely think it's worth the watch. It's number one trending on Netflix. It is right now number one trending on Netflix. And I can see why. I mean, it's a good series. And someone that loves space, I'm going to watch it again. If they come out with a series, the, the second you know season, I'm going to definitely watch that Parts too. of it too that was very inspiring and motivated to go to the moon. And she just gave this real empowering speech and it gives great messages of hope and and progression and, and progress in the world and all of that to combine was so inspiring and motivating. That's, I loved it. You know, I think it's one of those like kids could watch. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!